So, uh... So I discovered this thing called Korean drama. If you don't know what Korean dramas are, they're kind of like American TV shows, but a uh, hundred times better. Since I've made this discovery, I've been sleeping, um, not at all, really. I can't sleep. Okay, just one more episode. To be honest, I never really paid attention to these Asian drama TV shows. Every time my friends told me about these Korean dramas, my reaction would be like, Hey, you should watch Korean dramas. Watch Korean dramas? <laughs> that is so Asian of you to do. All right. You say that right now, but trust me, once you go in, there is no returning back. You will become addicted and it will suck your soul. <laughs> that is so Asian of you to say. But then I got curious and that's when I learned that even my brown, black, and white friends are watching them. So the only question that popped into my head was, how come everyone understands Korean but me? And that's when I discovered a revolutionary technology that's known to only the wealthiest of the wealthiest called subtitles. See, my parents always tell me, Jeffrey, you've been with your computer for three hours. Educate yourself. You should read more. Yeah, and now I can by just watching these Asian dramas. Most of the time, their subtitles are pretty accurate. I a lot like you. You are the beautiful, the most person Earth is on. That is the most beautiful compliment I've ever seen. <laughs> there may be some mistakes from time to time though. Anyways, one of the reasons I got addicted to these Asian dramas is that they make you fall in love with the characters so easily. And then they make them suffer and die. Kinda. You have betrayed my family. Therefore, I have no choice but to kill you. I'm innocent, but if this is gonna save Suki's life, then kill me. I'm sorry. Pakyo! Uh. 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 No! I'm sorry, Suki. He was innocent. I got the papers here to prove it. What? It was your father who betrayed you. What did you say? <laughs> Wait. I'm alive! Wait, what was that pan doing in your jacket? Oh, I was cooking earlier and I saw it was a pretty good pan, so uh, I stole it. Wait, I should have known. Main characters never die in dramas. Oh yeah, true. I forgot. Oh, sh I knew that. <laughs> I was just uh, acting. <laughs> oh, fake tears. You were? Oh, nice. That was pretty good. Oh, thanks. You're a pretty good actor too. So then, where's the camera? Oh, there it is. Oh. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. I forget they're just TV shows sometimes. Also, it's not like they make you watch only one episode. No, there's like a million and they make you continue watching because every ending of each episode always ends with the most suspenseful, crazy moment. Suki, I can't live without you. Pakyo. Like who wants to see two people with relationship goals about to kiss but get stopped, not stopped actually, gets paused while they're at two centimeters from each other's face. That is cruel, they do it on purpose and it's like the TV show is laughing at me. <laughs> you thought we were gonna kiss? <laughs> we might, but you have to watch the other episode. <laughs> oh, loser. <laughs> also, most of these characters have awful and perfect yet realistic life that sometimes I legitimately want to become them. But I think I take it too far sometimes though. I was an orphan at the age of eight. My dad was killed in front of me by the same assassins that killed my mom. I will have Son, my ribbon. Can you help me to take the trash out? Ma gonna be home soon from work. Wait, didn't you say he- uh, Dad? You're alive? And mom too? Come on, I don't have all day. Yeah, a little tiny bit too far. Do you guys also easily get addicted to these TV shows once you start them? Please tell me in the comments so I know I'm not the only one. Anyways, I'm off to watch some more Korean dramas. I'll see you next time. This is Jeffrey Fever and I'm pressing the record button now. Peace. Oh, what's this? Taiwanese and Japanese dramas. Huh, let's see. Hey, no, no, no.